Chatham. Election results are in this morning. Voters have passed all seven proposed amendments to the state constitution. Some of the approved proposed amendments include Proposition 3. Now, that deals with repealing the requirement that state officers elected by voters statewide reside in the state capitol. Also approved Proposition 6. It recognizes the right of the people to hunt, fish, and harvest wildlife subject to laws that promote wildlife conservation. And a close race for state representative of House District 118. The front runners, Republican John Lujan and Democrat Tomas Uresti. It appears the race is headed for a runoff. The winner will replace Joe Farias, who resigned this summer. He held the seat since 2006. His son Gabe was also on the ballot. And meanwhile, voters in Kamau County approved a bond to improve the Kamau County Jail. That bond passed by more than 56 percent. Big changes coming to NEISD now that a nearly half billion dollar bond has passed. It passed 66 to 34 percent. This is the district's largest bond proposal, which has been in the works for just about a year now. Now, there'll be money for a number of improvements, including security cameras, computers in classrooms, and upgrades to extracurricular facilities. But the biggest chunk of the bond replacing portable classrooms and renovating several schools. The issue for us was that the schools need to be upgraded. You forget how long Northeast has been, you know, a part of San Antonio. I went to Churchill High School, graduated 40 years ago, and many of the things that I experienced in school are still there. And that's what this bond was about. It was about bringing it up to speed for the kids of tomorrow. To see where the money will go, you can find a link on our website at ksac.com.